were you just lucky to find rugby? Because I, we, our next podcast episode is on responsibility, and we delve a bit deeper about in terms of you and the rugby background and how you found that responsibility, and me in terms of movement finding that responsibility. But I seem to be like kind of ten years behind you, kind of finding that real purpose or that responsibility. Like, are we just lucky that we found this, or is there like an avenue to go down to? maybe ask these questions a little bit earlier if you don't have a clue of what the hell you want to do or you know have a real purpose or a passion that you believe you can fulfill in this lifetime i believe everything is inside us so we all have um the power to find our own purpose and we actually don't need anyone's help i mean this is a big this is a thing that fucking does my head in about the the general narrative in life is that we all need help to do this to do that it just plays up to our innate sense of laziness and it's absolutely as far as i'm concerned from my experience of life it's it's horseshit okay we need support from time to time absolutely we need community we need connection but the biggest connection you need is with yourself and with what is inside you and we have power inside us to figure out what is really important to us we have our self-awareness to figure out what is important to us what is a value what is our purpose but also what is holding us back where are we going wrong? What is wrong with the map of life? What is wrong with the fam- framework of life that you tell yourself or you've been con- conditioned to tell yourself uh, through your own perceptions of the experience? Um, we have imagination so we can create our own life. Um, we can visualize where we want to get to. We can feel that visualization, see if it rings. We can play around with that visualization until something pings up within us. And you go, you yeah, know, I think that might be a bit of me. Well, guess what? Then I'm going to go and try it and figure it out and take action on it. And then we have um, our intuition, our internal compass that if given a chance, if trusted, if um, relied on, you will always find it points you in the right direction. There's something inside us all telling us what is right for us um, as an individual and maybe even as a group, like maybe it's even a, you know, something I play around with from time to time. My, my mind is maybe we're all on the exact same path. We're trying to get to the, you mentioned the word there, the reality of the world. You know, we're trying to get to that space where, you know, this is, you know, there's, um, natural laws and common or sorry and um consistent um correct principles that if we live our life that way we feel whole we feel complete uh, i i haven't got like a, amazing amounts of clarity on it but it is a, a theory i i throw into my mind and play around it from time to time maybe that is the same for all of us as a as a human i don't know but um we can undoubtedly find our own way through our own experience of life if we really connect with um our internal world but most people aren't aren't arsed it's too hard too lazy too difficult um and uh yeah you know there's there's too much um you know i said it to you before there's there's too much subordination there's too much comfort uh, there's too much choice for people um, and people are just too easily dominated or or steered by fear um, and that's what's stopping them getting to what's really important within them thanks very much for listening guys if you want to find out any more information you can contact us on instagram at rob underscore movement 101 or you can contact brian at brian underscore movement 101 Thanks very much again. See you next time.